Instrument pickups. What are they? And do you need one? Hello everyone. Last week I installed a pickup on my acoustic lever harp, this Camac Excalibur. And today I'm going to try to answer those two questions and just generally give you some more information about pickups and their uses. So do you need one? Why would you need one? Let's address that first. I think there are three reasons that I can think of that you might want to install a pickup on your acoustic instrument. And the first is the most common reason, and that is you just want to be able to play more loudly, maybe in a crowded environment, maybe in a band with other people who are being amplified, but just to be able to play louder. And a pickup is a great option for that. Then the second is that maybe you want to take advantage of effects. So to modulate the sound, maybe to use, you know, sort of distortion or reverb or chorus or echo effects. <laughs> Or maybe you want to use something like a looper pedal, which allows you to play something, record that portion, and then have that continually loop back to play back as you play something else. Lots of cool things that can be done with looper pedals. So if you want to use effects and pedals, a pickup again is a great option for that. And finally, perhaps, you might use it for recording. So rather than using a mic or in addition to using a microphone, you could record directly from your pickup. So I'm gonna go more in depth about all those three options, those three reasons you might want a pickup. But first, let's talk about what a pickup is to start with. There are two main types of pickups. There are magnetic pickups, which most electric guitars use, where each string is surrounded by a magnetic field that is generating then an electrical impulse that gets converted back into sound waves. As far as I know, that isn't used on any harps. Instead, harps use some form of piezo uh, pickups. And piezo, piezo electronics, it's, it's not a brand name, it's a type of technology that was discovered in the 1880s of using a crystal to convert uh, pressure, and in this case, like the, the vibration of a soundboard into electrical impulses. And then of course, that can be converted back into sound waves through a amplifier. So uh, this, what I just installed, was a set of four separate uh, piezo pickups at various regions on the soundboard that are picking up that vibration and then transmitting that out. Harps, there are some electric harps that have uh, a pickup on each string and that are maybe instead of getting the vibrations of the soundboard, they're getting the vibrations of each individual string giving you maybe an even more accurate picture because you're picking up every individual string and also a little bit more control because you can maybe, you know, the upper region, you can apply a looper fe pedal effect to that and maybe the mid, you apply some sort of effect to that and the bass, some sort of effect. There's also a chance that it gives you less chance of having feedback, which we'll talk about in a moment. And you could have a pickup that just has one single pickup. So I don't know how useful it is to have four. It makes sense to me to be spread out across the soundboard, get a more even sound. Uh, the Dusty Strings pickups that have a very good reputation also have four pickups. How essential is that? I don't know. I also don't know what sort of effect the individual pickups have in terms of are there better sounding piezo pickups or worse? If you pay more money, does it mean that pickup itself gives you a better sound quality? I don't know, I don't know. I'm happy with the sound quality of this, but are there better ones? I, I don't know, like if you know, leave a, leave a comment. And that's basically what a pickup does. So there is also the difference of um, a powered versus unpowered pickup that the technology doesn't require any electricity. It generates an electrical impulse, but Potentially, that may not be loud enough, and so you can have a preamp before you plug it into the amplifier. You have a preamp to boost the signal. Both of these little electric harps have a preamp built in. That's why you have to remember to unplug them when you're finished, because otherwise the 9-volt battery will be discharging. And I measured, so what happened, I, I plugged this in, and both of these recorded them, and what I found was that this, even though acoustically it's much louder than both of these, because it doesn't have a preamp, was maybe about, I don't know, 16, 18 decibels softer than these. That's an appreciable difference. And so if you have 
a fairly quiet amp, you might find that you need, want to add a preamp to this to boost the sound even more. There is an alternative to pickups, and that is to have a microphone instead picking up the acoustic sound of the harp and transmitting that to your amplifier. I think the big downside of that and the big advantage of pickups is there's much less chance of feedback, as I mentioned. That's where, for example, if a microphone is connected to a speaker or an amplifier and their microphone is pointed at that amplifier, you can get a sound, it transmits to the amplifier, gets picked up by the microphone, back and around and around and around, and you, know, you get this horrible feedback squeal, which obviously you want to avoid. And just in general, if you're, you're playing in a group, you don't necessarily want to be picking up other instruments, or if you're doing a bunch of effects, you don't want to have that looping back as well. So uh, the pickup then kind of eliminates most of that. Now, the soundboard still does act a bit like a microphone. So while it's very soft, I can, if I'm speaking here and recording the pickup, I can actually hear my voice very, very faintly if I boost the sound level up enough. So it is possible still to get some feedback loops. And that's where maybe the electric harps that have a, a pickup on every string might eliminate that. But it just in general, I think the, you have a lot more safety with a pickup as opposed to using a mic. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea of what pickups actually are. And then let's look at these, these three reasons why you might want a pickup or what, three reasons for using a pickup. And the most common is because you want to be louder, right? Just, you just want more volume, more, more, more. And I always used to have this fantasy of, of playing in an orchestra and, and bringing in an electric harp. And I, I know Kamek at least used to have a bench that was also an amplifier. So you could, you could go in there and you bring your harp in and then turn it up to 11 and the brass are playing away and then you'd come in and aha, now you can actually be heard. But anyway, yeah, so you might be playing in crowded, noisy environments or with a group where everyone else is amplified, or even you just you just want some extra volume, that maybe that security of having some extra volume. And so you can, of course, then take your pickup and plug it into an amp. You can also plug it into the, maybe the sound system of a venue that you're playing in. So again, if, if you just want it for a specific venue, maybe you don't even need to get an amp because they already have a sound system. Now, I had a question on last week's episode, and that was, does it sound natural? Like, does the, does the plugging into the amp, does it still sound like an acoustic harp? So for me, my impression from hearing that is that yes, there's a definite difference in sound. Like you can hear the amplify sound is not the same as the acoustic, and and it sounds yes, sort of like a, like an amplified sound. Now, what I also did was record that same thing with a bit of distance from the amp. So I set up my microphone, so I'm getting both the acoustic and the amplified sound. So the amplified the amplifier is boosting the sound, but it's not all we hear. We also hear a mix of the acoustic and the amp sound. Here's what that sounds like. Thank you. 
So to me, again, one of the things we get with this pickup is we get a lot more definition in the bass. We're hearing a lot more of the clarity, a little bit clearer bass than you get maybe with the acoustic sound. So I really like the combination. I like that, that blend. The pure amplified sound, which is what you would get then if, if you're playing, but maybe there's a sound system or something like that, and, and that's what people are hearing, that, that everything's turned up quite loudly. Because again, the acoustic sound of this is quite loud. But if you're in a setting, again, maybe outdoors, huge setting or something like that, you're just hearing the amplified sound. No, it's not going to sound exactly like uh, the acoustic sound. But uh, maybe close and again, different amplifier. But anyway, just to give you maybe a little bit of a picture of what it might sound like. I think it sounds good. I particularly, I, I love the blended sound. It's, it's really fun this last week to play a little bit with the amp on just for myself to, to hear that bass and have a little feel like surrounded, wrapped in sound, right? Like this all this sound uh, but anyway yeah you you know you see what you think your your mileage may vary so then the second reason why you might get a pickup is because you want to play around with effects so there's all sorts of classic effects right you know you can get wah 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 effect going you can get a, a delay effect where you you play a note ding, 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 ding. It, it repeats it back on delay course classic reverb you can get some distortion you can get some chorus effect going you can have it it like playing so you play this note and it all and it plays a note uh, you know a fifth blow or a third blow or a fourth blow or whatever and all, all sorts of crazy effects so traditionally <laughs> if we, we can say that with something that's a technology that, that's not that old you would use pedals so this is a looper pedal but similar style pedals where you plug an instrument cable from your pickup into a pedal, and then from that pedal into maybe another one, and another one, another one, and eventually that goes to the amp or the sound system. And then these pedals are a great way to like turn things on and off because you can use your feet and affect the sound. Now, these days, there's also an option of plugging it into your computer. So you need an audio interface that allows you to plug an instrument cable into your computer. Within your computer, then, you can, there are lots of sort of virtual uh, effects. So people have taken all these sort of classic effects and turned them into a digital version that you can then use. And so in particular, if you're on a Mac, for example, you can go into GarageBand and lots of different free effects. And yeah, so you can do a lot with that as well. And that can be a way to explore things without buying a bunch of effects pedals, or at least not to start with, um, because you know, you're probably paying at least $100 for any particular effect pedal. Whereas even if you buy a bundle of, of effects on, on your computer, it's gonna be much less expensive. So I wanna give you an example of that. I've connected the harp to my computer, and then I'm trying to record the sound coming out of my computer we'll hear again a bit of a blend of that and the acoustic sound. And so again, the possibilities are endless if that's something you're interested in. And again, to maybe bring in and bring out stuff. And, and uh, yeah, so the pickup is, is like such a great way to be able to do that. Again, you could potentially do that with a microphone if it's very directional and if you're making sure that your amp is pointing away from that. Of course, you also wanna be able to monitor that sound as it's happening. So again, I think a pickup is, is is a, you know, is a fantastic option. And then of course, an effect that I think a lot of people are kind of intrigued by is the looper pedal, which lets you play something, you know, start recording it. You're playing something, press the pedal, start recording it, press the pedal, stop recording it. And then that starts looping back and you have the potential of recording another loop. And depending on the type of pedal, maybe another loop and then maybe taking this one out and adding another one and taking this one out and taking this one out and bringing back this one. The pedal that I have is very, very basic. It lets you record a loop, 
and you're gonna record another loop on top of that and on top of that, but your only option is all loops on or all loops off. You can't, you can't specifically take like the first loop or the second loop or the third loop. to say that well I enjoy messing around with it and it's kind of cool I also what I love about live performance is a feeling of anything could happen and and being able to kind of uh, feel free in that moment to play exactly as as I wish and with a looper pedal of course it's kind of like a backing track or a click track or something where you have to stay while that looper pedal is going, you have to stay right in time, which is a great skill as well, like pretty interesting to work with that. But yeah, so for me, it's not something, I've had this looper pedal for, for quite a while. I haven't done a ton with it. I found the concept more intriguing than the, I guess, than the reality. But again, playing around with it here uh, for this episode, I, I had a lot of fun with it and it's something I may return to in the future. So again, if you are looking to use any sort of effect, I think a pickup is, is just a fantastic option for that. So then I want to talk about the third reason why maybe a pickup is useful, and that is recording. So this was something I wanted to investigate because in theory, if the recording possibilities of the pickup sound good, so in other words, you, you plug the pickup into your recording device and you just record like that, it alleviates the need to by microphones, right? Which can be it's like a dizzying array of options, so many different microphones, they can be pretty expensive. Um, you also don't have to worry about finding the optimal mic placement, you know, whatever, you, you just, the sound, the pickup sound is the pickup sound, whatever it is. And you don't have to worry about the acoustics of the room or really any sort of noise, street noise or whatever, or if you're outside, outside noise, you don't have to worry about all that. So potentially it's like a very attractive option. And again, like this was a $70 pickup, uh, even the Dusty Strings pickup, which ranges I think from three to 400 or so dollars compared to the cost of a mic is, is, is relatively cheap. Uh, so I was curious how that stacked up. So I recorded a bunch of different ways.
So to me, listening to those, and of course I know which one was which, it's not a, it's not a blind test for me. I, I, I hear a huge difference in quality in terms of the, the SF12 compared to the other two options, um, which is good, like it makes sense. <laughs> it's a much more expensive sort of chain. And uh, yeah, it's just much richer and fuller and wow, yum. Uh, and the other two, you know, they're okay, but thinner and, and not, yeah, just not the same quality. I mean, uh, the CM4, of course, is, is a single bike, so you're getting a mono sound rather than a stereo sound, so that's maybe a little bit unfair for that. It wasn't an optimal mic placement either. Yeah, so it's, it's okay. And, and again, I like, I, I like the H5. I think it does a decent job. It, I, I enjoyed using it as an option when I'm touring to record concerts. It's not bad, like it's not bad. I'm not sure I would want to record a CD with it, but it's not bad. But again, you can hear quite quite a difference in terms of the SF12. And, and I certainly think the ribbon mics tend to do a great job recording harps. And I would uh, recommend the SF12 if, if you want to make an investment in terms of uh, a great recording quality mic. <laughs> So this was this was pretty interesting to me. So first of all, here's this here's the stereo sound. Here's the sound of the acoustic mic. And again, you get a sense of with the other recordings, the acoustic recordings, because they're fairly far away from the harp. You get a sense of the room, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. Within the body of the harp, it's much. You, you get a bit of that muffled effect. So I think I would. You know, given the option, I, I kind of prefer the sound of this outside of the harp rather than inside of the harp, but it's not bad. But then what was really fascinating to me was to hear the huge difference between using this to record the pickup and versus using my audio interface. Yeah, just, just a huge difference in quality. Now, both of them, so like, let's take the Motu, which sounds, I think, much better, much, uh, yeah, much better, richer sound than this. It's still, it's not the same as the acoustic sound. So again, we get this effect of the bass being quite clear, or uh, yeah, a lot of clarity in the bass, which is kind of cool. Um, the treble is a bit pingy, and just in general, we kind of get that sort of, again, like you're in a tight little room or, or muffled kind of effect. So, uh, yeah, it has its own charm and it depends, again, on what you're trying to achieve, what kind of sound you want. Like, as I say, when I was miking them, the mics were further away. I could try to mic quite close and maybe end up getting a more similar sound to the pickup. Uh, it also, I think, depends then on what you could do something to treat that sound. You could apply EQ, you can apply reverb and different effects like that to the recording. Uh, but for me, my takeaway is that mm, even on the audio interface, which again, I think recording onto that sounded much better than recording onto the Zoom, even recording onto that, 
it's not, to me, it's not a great option. As I say, I would actually prefer to use this acoustically, like some away from the harp, outside of the harp, if I were looking at sort of a recording option, I, I think. But what is possible is to use a blend of that. So let's say again that you want to, you're recording, maybe I'm recording with my SF-12, but I also record with a pickup, and then maybe I blend in a little bit in particular of the bass to bring a little bit of that clarity. That is interesting to me. So I don't see it as being a particularly ideal replacement for recording, but I see it as a, as a potential option. So for me, when I go to do Harpists in the Wild with this harp, I will continue to put this inside the body of the harp and record with these, but I will also put the pickup in and record with that. And as I say, it was really fascinating that I assume it's maybe the quality of the analog to digital converters within this that just did not do at all as good a job with converting that pickup signal into the sound as the, as the Motu did, the audio interface on my computer did. So anyway, I, but when I go out, I will continue to record from these, but I will also record the pickup and be able to use a blend of both of those. Uh, and again, if you don't have a microphone and you do have a way to record the, the pickup, it is an option for recording, even if it's just for yourself. Or again, maybe it's the sound you're looking for, or you can treat it to, you know, again, with EQ and different things to get something like the sound that you want. Whew. So I hope that's given you a bit of an idea of what you can do with a pickup, what pickups are, what they sound like in certain circumstances, again, depending on all the different components. And of course, the way I'm recording it and the way you're listening to it, all of those have an effect. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you go away from this having a better idea of whether a pickup is something that you would want for yourself. I'll see you in two weeks for another episode of Harp Tuesday. Cheers. Mm -hmm.